A breakthrough by researchers at Stanford could provide a new way to study the living human brain, but not necessarily while it's in the human body. ABC 7 News anchor Javina Fortson has a look at this groundbreaking technique. For decades, researchers have been peering into the human brain, trying to unlock the secrets of conditions ranging from autism to epilepsy to mental illness. But now, instead of just looking at the brain, a team at Stanford says they built their own, or at least part of one. The trick is that the brain tissue, known as an ergonoid, doesn't live in a human's head. It lives in a rat's. And so we've done this by transplanting uh, the uh, organoids early in the developing rat. So at a time where, when the rat brain is still plastic and can still form new connections. Sergey Pashka is a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at the Stanford School of Medicine. He says the first step was to create the brain tissue using what are known as pluripotent stem cells. They've derived from skin samples and can be coaxed into developing into any kind of cell in the body including these beating heart cells. But instead of just working in a dish, Pashka's team transplanted the cells onto the brain of a living rat. They soon watched as blood vessels connected and the human neurons began to grow. And we've discovered that it starts to connect uh, with the sum of the circuitry of the rat. And so, for instance, it receives input from the thalamus, which is a very important structure in the middle of the brain that uh, relays information from senses. This animation provided by Stanford illustrates what happened next. Researchers were able to confirm that sensations from the rat's whiskers were being processed by the human brain cells. Later, they engineered cells that were sensitive to a colored light, then taught the rat to associate the light with a reward. Behavior again being processed through the human brain tissue. The Stanford team is careful to say they are not working to create a humanized rat, but rather a platform where they can research diseases, drugs, and therapies that could never be done on a living human. The Stanford team believes that could provide critical insight into forms of autism and epilepsy, and perhaps conditions including psychiatric disorders as well. We've made little progress in understanding the biology of these conditions, primarily because the human brain is inaccessible. But with this new access, they're hoping faster testing will lead to new drugs and even a powerful new way of studying the human brain. Jobina Fortson, ABC7 News. Pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. The Stanford team says they've been able to create organoids that mirror tissue from different areas of the brain, potentially allowing for varied research studies. It's all very promising. If this keeps up, though, Ama, one day the rats will be doing experiments on us. Yeah, that might not be too <laughs> far off, Dan. <laughs>